Midsummer Murders has been a cozy mystery favorite since it first aired in 1998. With its quirky characters and unexpected murders set in charming villages, it's no surprise the show is still popular today. However, as with any long-running series, some of the actors who brought these stories to life are no longer with us. Here's a look back at some of the talented people from Midsummer Murders we miss. Michael Jaston as Reverend Arthur Gould. Michael Jaston ditched the world of accounting at 27 and dove headfirst into acting, studying at the prestigious Guildhall School. He discovered his true calling in Shakespeare, tackling iconic roles like Macbeth and Graciano alongside the legendary Laurence Olivier. Jaston's powerful stage presence translated perfectly to both film and television. You might recognize him from historical dramas like Nicholas and Alexandra and Cromwell, or his captivating performance as Rochester in the BBC's Jane Eyre. He even brought his talents to the spy thriller Tinker, Taylor, Soldier, Spy, and the world of voice acting. Michael Jaston passed away in 2024 at the age of 88, leaving behind a legacy of captivating and versatile performances that crossed genres and mediums. Graham Crowden as Reggie Barton. Many will remember Graham Crowden for his memorable performance as Reggie Barton in the 2002 Midsummer Murders episode, Ring Out Your Dead. But Crowden's career spanned far beyond the quaint English village. This former wing commander in the episode was a prominent figure in British acting for decades, gracing radio, film, and television screens. Crowden was a familiar face on British TV, especially known for his work in BBC serials like A Very Peculiar Practice and Waiting for God. He was a versatile talent who could bring characters to life in any medium. Sadly, the acting world lost Graham Crowden in 2010 at the age of 88, Anna Massey as Brenda Packard. Even though she stole the show as Brenda Packard in the Midsummer Murders episode Secrets and Spies, Anna Massey was much more than just a guest star on a cozy mystery show. This distinguished English actress had a long and impressive career that spanned film, television, and theater. Massey wasn't just talented, she was captivating. Her performances resonated with audiences and critics alike. After Midsummer Murders, she kept gracing our screens in shows like Poirot and Lewis. She was even creative off-screen, co-developing the BBC radio series Daunt and Dervish. Her contributions to the arts were recognized with a CBE in 2004, a well-deserved honor. Sadly, the world lost Anna Massey in 2011 at the age of 73. Nigel Davenport as William Smithers. Nigel Davenport wasn't exactly a fresh face when he showed up in the 2000 Midsummer Murders episode Blue Herrings. As William Smithers, a resident at DCI Barnaby's aunt's nursing home, he ended up playing a key role in solving the local murder mystery. But that was just a small part for this veteran actor. Davenport's career spanned over 50 years, and he was known for his deep, commanding presence on screen, whether it was a movie or a TV show. He wasn't just another character actor. He had a way of grabbing your attention. Sadly, the acting world lost Nigel Davenport in 2013 at the age of 85. Barry Jackson as Dr. George Bullard. For 14 seasons, Barry Jackson was the friendly face behind the scalpel on Midsummer Murders. As Dr. George Bullard, the show's pathologist, he helped Detective Barnaby unravel countless mysteries in the charmingly murderous English county. But Dr. Bullard was just one of Jackson's many hats. A working actor for over 50 years, he had a career that spanned genres. You might recognize him from iconic shows like Doctor Who, or even Stanley Kubrick's film Barry Lyndon. He wasn't afraid to show his range, popping up in everything from detective dramas like A Touch of Frost to heartwarming shows like Heartbeat. Sadly, the acting world lost Barry Jackson in 2013 at the age of 75. Rick Mayall as David Roper. Rick Mayall brought his signature brand of manic energy to the 2009 Midsummer Murders episode, The Creeper. As David Roper, a ghostwriter with a taste for trouble, 
he ended up both solving and becoming part of the village's latest murder mystery. Mayall was a master at blending humor with darkness, and this episode was pure Mayall magic. But Midsummer Murders was just a taste of this British comedy legend. Mayall was famous for his over-the-top, sometimes chaotic acting style that left audiences in stitches. You might recognize him from countless TV shows and movies. Even after a serious accident in 1998, he never lost his comedic spark and kept audiences laughing until the very end. Sadly, the world lost Rick Mayall in 2014 at the age of 56, Linda Bellingham as Jane Willows. Linda Bellingham's portrayal of Jane Willows in the Midsummer Murders episode, The Fisher King, in 2004, added layers of depth and intrigue to the storyline. Her character was entangled in a web of long-held family secrets, stolen ancient artifacts, and a decades-old death at a Celtic burial site, all culminating in a series of present-day murders in Midsummer. Following her memorable appearance on Midsummer Murders, Bellingham continued to enjoy a vibrant career. She was most recognized for her role as the mother in the beloved OXO family British TV commercials and as a panelist on the popular ITV lunchtime chat show Loose Women. Sadly, Linda Bellingham passed away on October 19, 2014, at the age of 66, after bravely battling colon cancer. Renee Asherson as Emily Simpson. While most Midsummer Murders viewers remember the murderer, the very first episode kicked off with the victim, Emily Simpson, played by the legendary Renee Asherson. Her untimely demise after witnessing a crime set the stage for the show's signature blend of cozy village and shocking murder. But Asherson's career was far more than a single episode. This stage and screen veteran had a long and impressive filmography including a role in the chilling The Others. However, her true passion was the theater. She was a regular on prestigious stages like the Old Vic and the Liverpool Playhouse, captivating audiences with her performances in Shakespearean classics like Romeo and Juliet, Twelfth Night, and The Merchant of Venice. Renee Asherson passed away in 2014 at the ripe old age of 99, leaving behind a legacy of captivating performances on both stage and screen. Warren Clark as Samuel Quested. Seasoned actor Warren Clark wasn't exactly a fresh face when he donned the mayoral robes in the 2011 Midsummer Murders episode, The Night of the Stag. His portrayal of Samuel Quested, a traditionalist mayor, brought a touch of rural English authenticity to the episode. But Midsummer Murders was just a stop on Clark's extensive acting journey. You might recognize him from his chilling role in Stanley Kubrick's A Clockwork Orange or his detective work in the series Dalziel and Pasco. Clark was a true working actor, and even after his appearance in Midsummer, he kept busy. He guest starred in Call the Midwife that same year, and had just begun filming for the historical drama Pole Dark, before tragically passing away in 2014 at the age of 67. Richard Johnson as James Fitzroy. Don't let his guest spot in a 1999 episode of Midsummer Murders fool you. Richard Johnson was a seasoned British actor with serious talent. In Death of a Stranger, he brought his signature charm to the role, but that was just a small part of his impressive career. Johnson was a true chameleon, captivating audiences on stage and screen. Early in his career, he stole hearts as romantic leads like Romeo. Later, he commanded the stage with powerful performances as characters like Mark Antony. He wasn't limited to the theater, though. Sadly, the acting world lost Richard Johnson in 2015 at the age of 87, but his legacy of captivating performances lives on. Tom Beard as Martin Fulmer Tom Beard wasn't just another face in the crowd on Midsummer Murders. In the 2012 episode Murder on St. Mally's Day, he delivered a nuanced performance as Martin Fulmer, a complex character entangled in a murder at an elite private school. But Midsummer Murders was just a glimpse of Beard's talent. He was a true theater buff, 
captivating audiences on prestigious stages like the National Theater and the Royal Court. He even brought his skills to the big screen, appearing in films like Salmon Fishing in the Yemen. Tragically, the world lost this talented and enthusiastic soul to cancer in 2015. He passed away at the young age of 50, just months after his diagnosis. Elizabeth Spriggs as Iris Rainbird English actress Elizabeth Spriggs is well remembered for her intriguing and chilling role as Iris Rainbird, a nosy villager, in the 1997 pilot episode of Midsummer Murders, titled The Killings at Badger's Drift. Iris, along with her son, keeps close tabs on her neighbors and blackmails them with their secrets, adding a layer of suspense to the show. After this standout performance, Spriggs continued to work in television, appearing in shows like Heartbeat and Poirot. She even returned to Midsummer Murders in 2006 as Ursula Gooding. Her career also included roles in theater and film, with notable performances in the Royal Shakespeare Company and a BAFTA-nominated role in the 1995 film Sense and Sensibility. Elizabeth Spriggs passed away on July 2, 2008, at the age of 78. John Nettleton as Monroe Hilliard In the 2009 episode The Black Book, John Nettleton added sophistication to Midsummer Murders with his portrayal of Monroe Hilliard, playing the role of a wealthy and stylish collector, complete with a liveried butler, he served as the chairman of the Midsummer Orchid Society. While his career beyond Midsummer Murders remains somewhat mysterious, John Nettleton was a respected British actor with an extensive and impressive resume. Many may recognize him best for his portrayal of Sir Arnold Robinson in the classic political sitcoms Yes, Minister and Yes, Prime Minister. He passed away of natural causes on July 12, 2023, at the age of 94. Murray Melvin as Bentham de Ketville. Murray Melvin's performance in A Taste of Honey was a game changer. He brought so much depth to the role of the supportive friend that it earned him a Cannes Award and kicked off an amazing career that spanned both theater and film. But Melvin wasn't just a movie guy. He actually originated the role on stage, and theater was his other big love. He even teamed up with director Peter Medak for a bunch of films, showing his acting chops in everything from A Day in the Death of Joe Egg to the gangster flick The Craze. The acting world lost a legend in 2023 when Murray Melvin passed away at 90. Angela Thorne as Lady Lavinia Chetwood Did you catch Angela Thorne in Midsummer Murders? She wasn't just your average reading club member. She was Lady Lavinia Chetwood, and there was a hidden darkness lurking beneath the surface. This captivating role was just a taste of Thorne's incredible career. But Angela Thorne was much more than just a murder mystery guest star. She was a hilarious actress, best known for playing Marjorie Frobisher in the BBC sitcom To the Manor Born. Her talents weren't limited to the screen, though. She was a stage star, too, shining in productions like The Lady Killers. The world lost a comedic gem in 2023 when Angela Thorne passed away peacefully at 84. Hayden Gwynn as Jennifer Carter. Fans of Midsummer Murders might recognize Hayden Gwynn from the 2004 episode Ghosts of Christmas Past, where she played Jennifer Carter. But Gwynn was a theatrical powerhouse. She wowed audiences on stage, earning prestigious nominations like Olivier's and even a Tony nod for her role in Billy Elliot the Musical, plus a well-deserved Drama Desk Award win. Midsummer Murders was just a glimpse of her talent. Her career stretched far beyond a single episode. Sadly, the acting world lost this talented actress in 2023 at the age of 66. Joss Ackland as Sir Freddie Butler. Joss Ackland's film career was a slow burn, but it was definitely worth the wait. While he spent years captivating audiences on stage with prestigious companies like The Old Vic, he didn't hit the big screen in a major way until the late 1960s. But don't be fooled by the late start. Ackland was already a theater legend by then. Once he did make the jump to film, Ackland left his mark. 
Movie fans know him for roles like the scheming husband in White Mischief and the ruthless South African diplomat in Lethal Weapon 2. Sadly, the acting world lost Joss Ackland in 2023 at the age of 95. Rosalie Crutchley as Lucy Bell Ringery. Did you know Rosalie Crutchley, the actress who played Lucy Bell Ringer in Midsummer Murder's first season, had a much longer career? London-born Crutchley loved acting and dove right in during the 1930s on stage. It wasn't long before she was gracing both the big and small screens. From royalty like Queen Eleanor in Lady of Sherwood to a part in the sci-fi classic The Man in the White Suit, her roles were varied and captivating. Even after her stint on Midsummer Murders, Crutchley continued acting in shows like Peak Practice. Her passion for both acting and literature shone through in her work. Married to fellow actor Peter Ashmore, Rosalie Crutchley passed away in 1997. Diane Bull as Heather Beavers Diane Bull left a lasting impression with her portrayal of Heather Beavers in the 2003 Midsummer Murders episode Death and Dreams. Her performance as a local resident caught in a mysterious plot showcased her remarkable acting skills. Beyond Midsummer Murders, Bull demonstrated her versatility with her role as Carol Longthorne in the popular soap opera, Emmerdale. Throughout her career, Diane Bull took on various roles in both film and television, reflecting her talent and dedication to her craft. Tragically, her life was cut short when she passed away from cancer in 2015 at the age of 46. Despite her untimely death, her performance in Midsummer Murders remains a standout, and her contributions to British television continue to be cherished by fans and colleagues alike. Phyllis Calvert as Alice Bly Veteran actress Phyllis Calvert brought a touch of classic star power to the detective series Midsummer Murders in the 2000 episode Blue Herrings, where she played Tom Barnaby's aunt, Alice Bly. This essay explores her role in the episode and her impressive acting career. Phyllis Calvert's career extended far beyond Midsummer Murders. During World War II, she was known as Britain's Sweetheart, captivating audiences with her beauty and acting prowess in the classic films of the 1940s. Her performances left a lasting impression on audiences and established her as one of the era's most beloved actresses. Sadly, Phyllis Calvert passed away in 2002, but she left behind a legacy of memorable performances. Ursula Howells as Lady Isabel Aubrey. On October 16, 2005, the world lost a true talent in English cinema and television when Ursula Howells passed away at the age of 83. Known for her elegant and captivating presence on screen, Howells had a career that spanned both film and television. Her final television appearance was in 2001, where she portrayed Lady Isabel Aubrey in Midsummer Murders. Howells' impact extended beyond her acting career, after the death of her father, composer Herbert Howells, in 1983, she played a significant role in promoting his work. In 1987, she established the Herbert Howells Society to ensure his compositions were recorded, published, and promoted for future generations to appreciate. This dedication to preserving her father's legacy highlights the depth of her commitment to the arts. Anton Rogers as Lord James Chetwood with a career that spanned television, theater, and film, Anton Rogers left a lasting impression with his nuanced and engaging portrayal of Lord James Chetwood Aubrey in the 2002 Midsummer Murders episode, Market for Murder. Beyond this memorable role, Rogers showcased his acting range in popular sitcoms like Fresh Fields and its sequel, French Fields, as well as in diverse theater productions ranging from contemporary comedies to classic plays. Rogers' contributions to the arts extended beyond his acting roles. He was a patron of the Angles Theater and frequently collaborated with his wife, actress Elizabeth Garvey, on stage readings. His dedication to his craft and support for the theater community were evident throughout his life. Sadly, the talented Anton Rogers passed away on December 1, 2007, at the age of 74, leaving behind a legacy of remarkable performances and contributions to the world of acting.
Robert Hardy as Robert Cavendish. A seasoned actor with a career spanning over six decades, he graced the screen as Robert Cavendish in the 1999 episode of Midsummer Murders, titled Dead Man's Eleven. With his remarkable presence and nuanced portrayal, Hardy brought a fresh energy to the show. Beyond Midsummer Murders, he continued to captivate audiences with his versatile talents. Sadly, on August 3, 2017, the curtain fell on Hardy's illustrious life as he passed away at the age of 91. Frida Doey as Amy Pierce Long Before Detective Barnaby started solving mysteries in Midsummer, Frida Doey was already a pro at stealing the show. You might remember her from the 2007 episode The Animal Within, where she played Amy Pierce, a character caught in a family mess that turned deadly. But guess what? Midsummer Murders was just a blip on her radar. Frida's acting career spanned over 50 years. She had a talent for playing strong women, even if they came across as a bit meek at first. Sadly, the acting world lost Freda Dowie in 2019 at the age of 91. Roy Hudd as Victor Spencer. Roy Hudd was in the entertainment business for over 50 years. He wasn't a one-trick pony. He could make you laugh with silly antics in movies like Up Pompeii or Tug at Your Heartstrings with serious roles in shows like Little Dorrit and Call the Midwife. His talents even reached children's stories. He narrated classics like Peter and the Wolf. Sadly, we lost Roy Hudd in 2020 at the age of 83. Honor Blackman as Isabel Hewitt. Even if you don't recognize the name, you've probably seen Honor Blackman. This celebrated English actress was a true pioneer, helping pave the way for the tough-as-nails action heroines we see today. She wasn't afraid to show off her spirit, even later in her career. Take her role as Isabel Hewitt in the 2003 episode of Midsummer Murders, called A Talent for Life. Honor Blackman's career went far beyond this one episode, but it's a great example of the energy and charisma she brought to every role. Sadly, we lost her in 2020 at the age of 94. Paul Ritter as Harry Fleetwood. Remember the chilling Midsummer Murders episode with the Headless Horseman? That was Paul Ritter, absolutely killing it, no pun intended, as Harry Fleetwood in The Dark Rider. But Paul wasn't just a spooky one-hit wonder. He brought his talent to hilarious shows like Friday Night Dinner and the gripping miniseries Chernobyl. No matter the role, Paul had this amazing ability to make the character feel real and relatable. Sadly, the acting world lost Paul Ritter in 2021 at the age of 54. Una Stubbs as Audrey Brailsford. Paul Ritter could switch characters faster than you could say action. From wacky sitcoms to serious historical dramas, he was a master of disguise. He showed off his impressive range in the 2012 Midsummer Murders episode, The Dark Rider, playing Harry Fleetwood, a guy caught in the middle of a murder mystery with a whole lot of history. No matter who he played, you felt like you knew the character. Sadly, the acting world lost Paul Ritter in 2021 at the age of 54 after a battle with a brain tumor. Patricia Brake as Anne Quaritch. Did you catch Midsummer Murders back in 2000? You might remember Patricia Brake as the mysterious Anne Quaritch. There was more to her than met the eye, that's for sure. But Midsummer Murders was just a tiny piece of Patricia's amazing career. She popped up everywhere on TV, from serious dramas like Casualty and Holby City to hilarious sitcoms where she'd crack you up alongside some of Britain's biggest comedy stars. Sadly, the world lost this talented actress in 2022 at the age of 79. David Warner as Peter Fawcett With his tall frame and classical training, David Warner wasn't your average actor. He hit the scene in the 60s with a bang, playing a complex artist in Morgan that grabbed everyone's attention. Whether he was making you laugh or hiding a dark secret, Warner had a way of captivating the audience. He could be heartwarming or terrifying, and that's what made him such a great actor. Sadly, we lost David Warner to cancer just days before his 81st birthday, Freddie Jones as Benbow. Believe it or not, 
he wasn't always on stage. For years, he actually worked a normal day job in a lab, but his nights were all about acting in local plays for the fun of it. Acting must have really been his calling, though, because a scholarship to drama school helped him ditch the lab coat for good and chase his dream career. He started out building his skills in smaller theater productions and TV gigs, but Terrence wasn't one for the ordinary. He craved roles that let him unleash his wacky side, and that's exactly what he found. He landed a part in a wild play called The Persecution and Assassination of Jean-Paul Marat. His performance was so offbeat and hilarious, it took him all the way to London and even New York. He even got to recreate the role for a movie in 1966, directed by a famous director named Peter Brook. Sadly, Jones passed away on July 9, 2019, at the age of 91 in Bicester, Oxfordshire, after a short illness. So that's it, everyone. Gone but not forgotten. These actors left a mark. Share your favorite memories in the comments. See you next time.